Initially, gabapentin was used as a medication for seizures, but it's found to have some sedating effects that can be helpful for sleep or anxiety. It's also used for nerve pain in the hands and feet, as well as to decrease alcohol cravings, to help with alcohol withdrawal and hot flashes and menopause. Um, even patients with bipolar disorder have found this helpful for mood swings. One of the necessary components before starting this medication is to make sure someone's kidney function is intact. If someone has kidney disease, this may not be a good medication because a properly functioning kidney is necessary to get rid of the medication. Uh, so in someone with kidney disease, it can build up at too high of levels, can cause confusion, disorientation, and other medical problems. The dosing is usually started at 300 milligrams for the first day, 600 milligrams by day two, 900 milligrams by day three, and then you can increase it to 1800 milligrams a day after that, typically with a maximum dose of 3600 milligrams a day. So the medication can take in, be taken up to three times a day. So that'd be like 1200 milligrams in the morning, 1200 in the afternoon, 1200 at night. If it's sedating, just take it at bedtime. It can help with sleep. Um, if someone has uh, thoughts or feelings to drink alcohol, but have a history of alcohol addiction, this medication may be helpful in those cases. But abstinence of alcohol would be most essential. Best way to achieve sobriety is usually in th in being involved in the 12-step meetings or, religious or through a religious group that follows the same principles as outlined in 12-step meetings. Gabapentin is not the go-to medication for people suffering from anxiety or alcohol withdrawal. It's usually resorted to after other modes of treatment for those conditions uh, have not been effective. Uh, the dose I usually go to for alcohol withdrawal is uh, 300 milligrams twice a day, but again, there can be quite a bit of a variation. This medication is also used for several medical conditions, help with pain, in particular peripheral neuropathy from alcoholism or diabetes. Uh, so if one is trying to kill two birds with one stone, this may be a good medication to go to in that regards. How does it work? Well, it's thought to increase serotonin in the body and it seems to also increase a molecule called GABA. Uh, GABA plays a role to help calm down the brain and nervous system. And it decreases a molecule called glutamate. Glutamate tends to make the brain and nervous system more excited or more active. The side effects of gabapentin typically are pretty mild. It's usually related to feeling sedated. Maybe it affects uh, one's gait. Maybe it causes fatigue. Uh, if it's too high of a dose, it can cause uh, blurry vision, slurred speech, feeling tired, or diarrhea. Uh, the medication should not be stopped suddenly, but it typically should be tapered, just like most medications, especially medications in the seizure class. Uh, because it is in the seizure class, it shouldn't be used uh, in cases of pregnancy, as it can cause brain and spinal cord problems uh, in the fetus. If this helpful for you or you benefited it from it in any way, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It will help the channel to grow in the future.